Okay, fifth grade, lesson 33. And this is on rounding numbers using a number line. Okay, now you've learned this before. Okay, so just be review. But let's, re let's do a review, okay? There are exact numbers, so 46. It's exactly 46, okay? Then there's numbers that are rounded. Do you remember what rounded number means? Yes. You try to find the nearest number, okay? Now, if I told you to round 46 to the nearest tens, okay? So you got to focus on what they're wanting you to round it to, the nearest ten, okay? And so that tells you... Am I focusing on the ones place? No, I'm focusing on the tens place because we're rounding it to the nearest tens. So let's start with tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? Between which two tens is this number? 50, okay? And 40. 40 and 50. Remember doing this? Uh -huh. Okay? And the middle number is always something five. So this one would be 45, right? Remember that? Uh -huh. Okay, so 5 is always the middle number. So if it's 30 and 40, it's 35. Understand? Uh -huh. Okay, so 45. Now, where would 46 go? To the nearest 10 is 50 or to the nearest 10 is 40? 50. 50, okay, because it passes the 45. It's closer to 50 rather than all the way to 40. You get it? So if I told you to round this 46 to the nearest 10, you would tell me 50. 50. Very good. All right, now... Another time they may say this, round um, the number 523 to the nearest hundred. You're no longer focusing on the tens, you're focusing on hundreds. So we're looking at this one. Between which two hundreds is 523? 500 and 600. 500 and 600. Very good. And what is our middle number? Uh, 550. 550, good. 50 right there, good job. All right, and so 523 would be where? 500. Closer to 500, because it would be somewhere right in here, right? Which is closer to 500 rather than all the way to 600. Okay, so we're just rounding numbers. Pretty simple, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, another way that you may learn when you get older, and you don't, if you don't like this way, it's fine, but another way that you can do this if I told you to round to the nearest hundred, you're going to underline it, okay? Then you're going to always look to the number to the right. And you're going to ask yourself, is it five or higher? Is that number five or higher? No. No. So this number stays the same, and then you just add your zeros. But if it was five or higher, I'm going to say I want to go to the nearest hundreds. I would underline my hundreds. I would look at my number to the right. Is it five or higher? Um, no. I mean, it's the same, right? It's, is it five or higher? Yes. Yes. So this number would change, and then you would add your zeros. Okay? Uh -huh. You don't necessarily have to do it that way. That's just the way some people do it. Okay? Just to let you know. All right. That is lesson 33. Okay, and then one last thing. Um, let's say we we're working with the number 500. 50, okay? Now, if we were to look, and I would ask you, between which hundreds, we're wanting to round this to the nearest hundred, between which two hundreds would this be? Um, 500 and 600. 500 and 600, okay? Now, if this is our number that we're wanting to round, we know that 550 is the middle number, right? Okay, anytime it's the middle number, you always say that it rounds to the higher one, okay? Just so you know.